Hello again. With the IPL just around the corner, we've decided on Reconnect today to touch base with someone who's really involved with the world of cricket. We meet with Sumathi Iyer, who's India's one and only woman umpire. And so it's our really great pleasure to invite her here onto our show. Thank you so much, Sumathi, for being here. Um, Hi, Jennifer. It's really nice being here with you. Right. Well, uh, to become an umpire, how did this happen? Well, uh, when I started playing the game somewhere in 1973, I mean, I got so involved with the game that I, uh, I thought I need to know more about the game. And that's when I, I need to go through the rules and the bylaws. And probably it was my coach, Mr. Dharmalingam, who found that I had such keen interest in the game and I had good knowledge about the game also. And he found that uh, I could go and actually appear for this exam. Right. But uh, seven years into your cricketing career, you actually took up being an umpire. So how easy was it? I mean, because you have also all these years continued to play, to play cricket as well as to be an umpire. Yeah. How do you combine the two? Yeah, when after I qualified, sometime the beginning of 80, he say 80, what happened was there were some corporates. My own coach who was working for a company, he wanted me to umpire the inter-corporate matches. That's how my, uh, you know, my involvement in umpiring started. It is later that I got to be recognized and started umpiring women's cricket matches. Right. How? The games where Tamil Nadu did not qualify, only those games I would I could umpire. Otherwise I was playing. Right, yes. So in case any tournament, any championship, if we didn't qualify, yes, I was there umpiring the games. Right. Then I was also doing juniors, sub juniors and uh, other level, interzonals, nationals. Somebody tell me, um um, how easy is it as an umpire to be completely unbiased? I mean, surely you have a favorite team. Surely you might want to, you know, decide in their favor. How do you manage it? Yeah, I mean, as a player, yes, I need to take sides. But then as an umpire, I, I, I'm supposed to be just neutral. You know, uh, yeah, neutral. So right? how do you not? Yeah. Now, uh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Right, I don't know. Right from the beginning, mm. whenever I went out to umpire, even now, I never take sides, be it the World Cup, be it the IPL, be it whatever match, test match or one day or a T20, I never take sides. I always tell myself, let the better team win. You mm -hmm. know, that has been right from the beginning. Let me tell you, because something little funny I would like to share with you here. Mm -hmm. You said it a little earlier, my uh, playing career and my umpiring career almost ran parallel for two decades. Absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. So there was little little funny things which I like to share with you here. Go ahead, please. Right? Well, as a player, you're supposed to run into the ball, right? But as an umpire, you're supposed to move away from oh, the ball okay. and the ball is hit to you. Okay, right? right, yes. So it's the same thing and as I don't know, I hold the world record for the highest number of catches and I firmly believe anything in the air is a catch. Hmm. As an umpire, there were couple of times when my hand almost came out and I had to pull it back. <laughs> instinctive <laughs> reaction, instinctively you would want to do that. Yes. Right. Yes. Um, so, so, you know, it has been really, uh, I've been able to ma manage both. Right. Yeah. So having said that, um, is it easier to be a player? Is it easier to be an umpire? Which Sometimes, is the more difficult? No, which yeah. is the easier of the two? No. It is always like this. When you're on that side of the bank, you always find this is easy. Yes. And when you're on this side, you say that's easy. Mm. There have been games where I've stood as umpire, I feel, you know, really bad. Had I been a player, such a thing would not have happened. Mm. Be it the performance, be it the behavior of the player. And as a player, there have been times when I feel, no, never will I want to be an umpire like that person. Right. Mm -hmm. Umpiring is not a joke, uh, Jennifer. Not many people, uh, I don't know, as uh, women, you, uh, you said, yes. that not many people have taken up to umpiring. It's a tough proposition. Yes. You In fact, I'm sorry to interrupt you. That's exactly my next point. Why is there only one woman umpire in our country? What's the problem? What's the reason for this? I'll tell you, when we started playing, we, we never thought about the day when we'll be hanging up our boots. Mm. Right? Because those days there was no money, there was nothing and we all played the game. For love of the game? Passion. Right. Now I don't say... But since that BCCI has taken over women's cricket, a little bit of money has come in. And uh, I feel there are not many players who, have, who would have or who would be 
playing for the number of years we have played. We have played for three decades. I don't think you will find players ever in the coming years would be playing the game for that long. But what's the reason for that? Is there a lack of passion? Is there a lack of interest? Or is there just a simple lack of encouragement from the people around them? Is, see, a lot of it comes from within. Indeed. Okay. I mean, those days we could stand up and say, yes, you know, even if it, there's no marriage, yes, we go ahead. You know, it was like that. Yes. But th these days, uh, there are a lot of distraction for the children. If you're not strong enough, you fall by the wayside, you lose your profession, I mean, you lose your uh, game. Right. And once, it is very difficult to pull back and come back. It is very difficult. And um, a lot of money has also come into the game. You find, you know, a lot of people burn up. Quicker. Crave for the, uh, mm. um, you know, money aspect. And they find uh, they, are, they are losing out. Right. And an another thing I would say is, those days, we, did, we didn't have many gyms and many trainers and many physios. Mm. Well, but still we kept fit. But these days, so much of importance is given to gym. So much of importance is given to training and, you know, the physios. A lot of people I find, the injury is much more than what it was then. Mm -hmm. Or probably we handled our injury much better than what is being happening now. Because uh, I find a lot of players, again, going, falling out because of injury. Right. Uh, Sumati, I'm going to ask you to hold on because when I come back, I'm going to talk to you about the other side of Sumati really and that's marketing manager in the Kanara Bank. Mm, yes, yes. Well, we take a very short break here, but you please stay right there with us.